fellow comrades of the revolution. Wherever you are, accept revolutionary greetings from me, Amabo Cecilia Benui, spokesperson for the AGC. Today, I would like us to talk on the issue of collaboration. This is an important issue that has raised a lot of eyebrows in this struggle. And I think as Ambazonians, it's imperative we look into it objectively and clear the air once and for all. Firstly, I will start by drawing your attention on the case of Cameroon. Ambalanders, I want you to know that the only reason why Cameroon finds it very difficult if not impossible for so many years to have an inclusive and a meaningful negotiation or discussion with Ambazonians. Even when we were simply asking for the return of the two-state federation is simply because Cameroon considered itself as the master and so wanted us to agree on what they wanted. Cameroon didn't consider us or itself as an equal party to a negotiation where we could lay the issue bare on the table and discuss them and come out with an agreement. So, in the case of a master-slave relationship, you will realize that the master does not negotiate or dialogue with the slave. The master rather talks to the slave and lay down the terms and conditions to which the slave has to agree on. Bear in mind that the only time that the slave can get his freedom is only through rebellion. And that is what is happening within the Ambazonian liberation quest. My fellow comrades, it is not the absence of willingness or the will from the AGC to collaborate. The AGC as a frontline movement is well prepared to engage in collaboration as it is doing within the ARC. Amber Landers, don't forget that there are about five to six groups within the ARC. And the question you should ask yourself is, if they all agree on every issue? The answer is a big no. So if the answer is no, how then has it been possible that all these groups have been able to collaborate within the ARC and none of this group is able to collaborate with the circles come? What is the problem? The problem is that the Dr. Sarkos come talks of unity, but what it really means is trying to get others to come and support it or come and join it. Amber Landers, true unity will only come when all these groups will sit on the table as equals, have negotiations on how to work together doing what they are all best at for the common good of Ambazonia. The AGC has and will continue to open its doors for meaningful collaborative initiatives that will help push this struggle ahead as it's already doing with other groups. On this note, I would like to state here clearly that the AGC will never be bullied by anyone to come and support it to legitimize its own position. Permit me to also make this point very clearly to you. The agency's position is that we should all come together and work for the struggle. As a matter of fact, the leader of the agency, Dr. Cho Lucas Ayaba, will be putting out over the weekend a clear-cut program on how we can all meet and begin discussions. These discussions will begin with the staffs from the various groups setting up a working group to begin discussing the contentious issues. Between the various groups and the staffs are going to develop an agenda 
that will bring together these leaders to work on and agree on. Therefore, comrades, bullying and disrespect of other leaders is never going to get us cooperative. Bear in mind that anyone who cannot sit and discuss with his own comrades and purports to suspend people from a group they never really belong to, but thinks they can go and sit on the table with people who have flooded the streets of Ambazonia with blood, murdered and butchered our people, burn our elderly persons like Mami Api, beheaded our young men like Sam Sawyer, burn our young men means of livelihood, raise down our homes and communities, rape our mothers and girls, and so on is pathetic. If you cannot talk with your fellow comrades fighting the same common enemy, how can you pretend to go and talk with the same person that is killing us all? Fellow comrades, charity, they say, begins at home. These are all things we must look into as a people. So I am challenging Ambazonians to rise up wake up and look into these issues. Let me again use this opportunity to thank our brave soldiers on Ground Zero for the incredible job and services they are rendering to the Ambazonian people. You are doing for us what the international community has failed to do. And Ambazonians will forever remain indebted in gratitude for your great services and sacrifice for Mother Amber. You have forced down the throat of the occupier, the name Ambazonia, and we have risen to fall no more. Thank you all for your great services, and God bless you all. All for one and one for all. Long live Ambazonia and short live the struggle.